Welcome to Rad Rat Video, where you find me trying to skate a kink in Skate 1 on the PS3. Uh, I'm working on a review for this game, and I'm not going to go too in-depth with thoughts on the game exactly, but um, I'm just playing it right now, trying to button up some loose ends, make sure I've seen everything there is to see before I do the review. So one thing I've noticed that is very difficult to do is to skate anything with a kink in it. Uh, you catch air off of the second kink right there and then the game will straighten you out on its own and it's basically impossible to hold the same trick the whole way let me show you oh, so here we go here we go back tail and then you won't stick to it boom you do that uh, it's it's a small thing it's really not a big deal uh, it's just a couple little little glitches in the way that the physics system handles everything like it, it doesn't know that you're starting on a kink rail before you do you know it all just kind of works itself out so a couple little things but all in all so far I've been loving this game um, I'm I don't know which skate game is gonna be my favorite out of the series I'm gonna talk about them all as I do them uh, for now I'm just gonna be doing skate one but uh, for the most part this game has been a lot of fun. I've beaten every main challenge, like the photography and the uh, photo, or the uh, jams and the contests and that kind of stuff. But uh, right now I'm just trying to go around and hit up all the extra spots that I haven't done yet and just try to be very thorough. So that's what I'm doing right now and I thought I would let you in on the process a little bit. Uh, one thing that's really missing in this game is being able to get off your board. There are spots like at uh, the Hubba Hideout where there's this little ramp that you have to hit at the bottom of the stairs because you can't actually climb up the stairs. Uh, it's, it's a lot of small things. Um, the uh, video editor is really basic and stuff at this point. So I'm not sure why a lot of people would go back to this one instead of one of the later ones in the series, but I have heard people say that uh, Sandvan from this version of the game is the best city in any of the skate games. So there may be some things that you have to deal with in this version, but if it's the best city, then it would be worth it, right? So I'm gonna talk about all those things as I play those games. A few of them I haven't played in a long time because I bought them on the 360 back in the day and my 360 died, so I've only recently rebought these on PS3, but we'll see how all that goes. I'm just happy to be able to finally get to this game. Uh, this game in particular is one of the reasons why I took a break from the channel. Um, because I had so much stuff going on, like my work has been taking up 95% of my time. And for me to do something on the channel, I could do it, but it would all have to be really quick, really basic stuff. Uh, well, I mean, this kind of video would be an example, but... Um, it would be exclusively this kind of stuff. I wouldn't have time to review a big game like Skate. I wouldn't have time to really get in depth into uh, different kinds of things. Um, like the new series, the brand breakdowns that I just recently started. You can go back and see the newest one of those on Monday. Uh, this past Monday, I mean. And, uh, you know, doing that kind of stuff, I just wouldn't have had time to do it. So I had to take a little bit of break, try to catch up on my work. I'm not sure how it's going, honestly. I've, I'm about two weeks into the break so far, and I've only really had time to finish a week's worth of videos. Uh, it's just been insane, which is good, because, you know, I could use the money. I don't have any money, so that helps. But, um, but yeah, I've been trying to get back to the channel as much as possible, but that's what's been going on with that. Uh, hopefully that'll be over and I won't have to do another break in the future. One thing I've been experimenting with a little bit is maybe uh, promoting the videos that I do more than just cranking out a ton of them. So if you watch any of my new videos since the relaunch... Uh, oh, so that's one of the other glitches. I'm just going to show you that real quick. Um, the physics is based on how hard the tail hits the ground, I think. And so if you do a trick right at a curb, um, so I'm starting the pop on top of the curb, but the pop actually hits the ground here, and so I get a ton of air. There's a couple little things. <laughs> you can actually 
glitched that out on purpose. I'm gonna talk about all that in the review. But as I was saying, I'm thinking about promoting my actual videos more than just uh, making a million of them. So I've been doing subtitles on all of my videos. Uh, this one's gonna suck because it takes like an hour to do 10 minutes or so. Uh, but it's important to me to have them uh, accessible for the deaf. I have some deaf friends and um, you know, it, it would really suck to not be able to share what I've done with people uh, for something like that when it's easy to solve. It takes time, but it's easy, right? You know, so I've been doing that recently and I've thought, hey, since I've got full subtitles, why don't I translate them? So my recent videos that have come up recently in the past week or however, I'm not sure when this video is going to go up exactly, uh, but they will all be in Spanish and German and French. Um, I have a tiny bit of experience with all of those languages, but, you know, they're going to be machine translated, but from clean subtitles, so they should turn out pretty good. Um, I found, strangely, that the most common language spoken by my viewers, other than English, is German. And I'm not entirely sure why, but it's a lot more than anyone else. I would have thought Spanish, you know, just because Spanish is so common. Um, in general around the world, but German was maybe three times more. <laughs> so, anyway, that's something that I, I want to do. But all that stuff takes time, and I'm just really hoping that I start to have more time in the near future. Um, but by the time you see this video, I should have all that stuff figured out, so don't worry about it. But um, I've been working on this review for a little while. Uh, it's taken me a while to finish the game, do every single challenge. Uh, I still have to track down some of these spots, you know, the own the spot challenges and that kind of thing. But I'm, I'm mostly done, and I just really want to be thorough with it. So uh, let's let's try to do a line somewhere. Let me find a cool spot. Uh, there's stuff down here. Whew. <laughs> still feel a little bit when, you know, you jump off of something because it, it really feels like you're doing this stuff, you know? All right, let's see. Oh, did it not... Ugh, I set a marker, but it didn't... All right, whatever. I'll do something here. So one thing I really love about this game and the whole series is how much it feels like skateboarding. Like, I can come up with an idea for a line, I can do it, and I can record it and all that kind of stuff. You used to be able to share them online and everything. Um, but you still kind of scratch that same itch that skateboarding does where, you know, you've come up with your idea and you've conquered the spot and all that kind of stuff. You're just insanely good and there's no risk of hurting yourself. Uh, but aside from that, it is kind of similar. All right. So let's say that was the thing I wanted to do. Um, the video mode in this game is very primitive compared to the other ones. Um, but still, I remember when this game came out, it might actually have been Skate 2. Um, this guy I worked with, he also got the game and we would record stuff and we could share it on their on their Skate, I forgot what they called it, it wasn't Skate TV, but uh, any, anyway, you could upload your stuff and you could share it with your friends and everything. And that was just really, really cool because it felt a lot like skateboarding itself, you know, um, uploading clips and putting them on YouTube and all that kind of stuff. It was still pretty new at the time, but um, it was starting to get more and more popular as digital cameras and everything got to be more accessible. But yeah, I've been really enjoying this game. I'm hoping to be able to do more stuff like this in the near future. I do have to do Skate 2 and 3, and as I do, I'm going to talk about how they compare to each other, you know, which one is the best. I'm not really sure yet. I'm thinking it'll probably be 2 or 3. Um, it kind of depends. I really like the realism of the series, but it kind of jumps the shark after a while. Um, I'll kind of show you what I mean, because it's it's already happening in this one, even though it's the first one. Uh, one of the things that I think is kind of crazy... Uh, let me see... So one of the downfalls of this game is when you set up this realistic physics system, you can take advantage of it in a lot of ways. And for the most part, you know, you don't have to to play the game, but uh, it's pretty easy to do stuff that's completely ridiculous. And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean very soon, but there are some glitches that take advantage of it too. There's one that I'm going to try to show you. You do like... Ugh, hold on. 
It's called the pop glitch where you do a pivot and then you do a certain trick right after you do and it launches you like 10 feet in the air. Um, you can do that kind of stuff, but there's really no reason to. So that's, that's one of them that didn't really work. But if you do a nose manual uh, pivot and then a shove it right afterward, if you get the timing right, there's a chance that you'll launch like 10 feet in the air. Um, stuff like that. But um, that's all, that's unplanned for. But this thing I'm trying to show you, if I ever find it, um, is very planned for. So this spot actually reminds me of one of the worst challenges in the game. And unfortunately I wasn't recording, so I won't be able to put it in the review. Maybe I'll mention it briefly, but... Um, in this spot, you are skating with the Gons, and he's going to take you to an art exhibit. And you have to follow him while he skates around, around here, oops, uh, for like 15 minutes, literally. And he'll come up here, and he'll try to do a trick or whatever, and then he'll, he'll bail. And then uh, you just have to stay close to him, and okay, he'll come around, he'll go over here, he'll do a trick, and then he'll bail. And then he'll come over here, and he'll skate around, and then he gets hit by a car. And it took forever to just to just get this guy uh, to take me where he wanted me to go. Uh, all right, so I'm almost there. But these super long rails are another example. You can do like any grind on Earth at 40 miles an hour and just hold it for 300 feet. But I wanted to show you the Mega Park. So these get worse as the series progresses. <laughs> Um, these get worse as the series progresses, but you know the idea of the mega ramp. It's a real thing. It's fine. You know, it's fine that it's in the game, but you can do your hardest stuff, no problem. And they they do a good job of minimizing the ridiculousness to a degree. Like you know, in the Tony Hawk series, you could do a 360 flip, late 360 flip, late 360 flip, on and on forever. In this game, you can only do late kick flips, heel flips, and shove its. But still, you know, you can do a 900 with a 360 inward heel, and it's no big deal. And to me, this kind of makes it feel a little bit weird. Oh, come on. Um, but, you know, it's, it's cool that you have the opportunity to see what it would be like to be the best skateboarder who could ever exist skating at a spot like this. But um, it's also kind of breaks the realism, like breaks the the illusion to me a little bit because not only would this place never exist because it would cost like 50 million dollars to make it but um, no one would ever be able to skate it. I'm trying to show you the rest of the rest of the spot but I can't actually land anything. Uh, the actual Mega Ramp challenge at the X Games that you do is one of the worst parts of the game because it's so inconsistent. Uh, it's really tough to do anything, and you have to land something like that in order to win anyway. You have to do a crazy combo. So there's a loop over here, there's some giant gaps and stuff, but one of the things why this also is a problem in the game is that it, it makes you break all of your records like instantly. So to do a power slide more than 20 feet or whatever is really hard, but if you're at this spot, you can just like power slide, you can get like 40 miles an hour. 45 miles an hour and then power slide 150 feet no problem so it i don't know i just i kind of wish that these weren't in the game <laughs> see right there why did i go 50 feet farther than i did last time i don't know but anyway aside from a couple little small things like i've showed you this game is you know 95 percent amazing <laughs> come on why am i I'm so high this game is like 95% amazing, and I'm, I've been really enjoying it and looking forward to putting out that full review in the near future. I'm trying to do a power slide for you. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, 49 feet? Come on. That's nothing. Of course, I was going uphill while I did it. But uh, anyway, that's all for this time. If you're really into this uh, video game type of stuff, I have a couple playlists. Why am I on I have a couple of playlists. I have uh, games sorted by what system they're on that you can check out. I have gameplay videos like this one where I just kind of casually play the game for a while. Uh, you can check those out too. Um, but I mostly do skateboarding culture stuff, skateboarding history, all that kind of thing. There's a lot of that stuff to check out while you wait for the final review to go up in the near future. 
But uh, until then, thank you for watching and make sure to check out some of that stuff and subscribe so you can keep learning about skateboarding and seeing skateboard game stuff three times a week, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thanks for watching.